Okay. So as seen before, this is our shampoo formulation uh, made with the pure coconut cleanser, jojoba oil. Um, we also have in here tea tree. Um, there's also um, what else we have? Vitamin E. Um, Lectin, which is a natural emulsifier. Um, it's a very natural, biodegradable shampoo. So what we're going to do is, in order to make sure that it's first set, safe for people to use, we're going to do a pH test. And there are a couple of ways of doing pH testing. The first and most uh, common way is to use what's called litmus strips. Litmus strips measure the shampoo from alkalinity, which is acidity, to um, how basic it will be on a scale of 1 to 14. So now what we'll be doing is we will be testing our shampoo. This is our shampoo right here. So we're gonna stir it up. Litmus test right now. The litmus test is just a simple dip test and comparison. So I'm gonna believe this is gonna be a little bit acidic. I mean, a little bit basic. Let's see what our so here is our result, and our result puts us maybe at about 8.5, you can see that right there. So that means it's a little bit basic, meaning we're going to need to bring it down. But we can't be sure using this. We only know whole numbers, and we need to make sure... It is. Uh, we need to be sure. So we're going to go ahead and write that down. So, now this is true. And a pH between, we're going to say that was one more time. We're going to look at that between 8 and 9. Eight to nine. Okay. This is a pH meter, <laughs> and this is an electrode. And what it does is it measures the per ion count or the uh, number of hydrogen ions in one substance, making it either acidic or basic. And these are our buffer solutions. We have uh, four, seven, and ten. And these are what would be called our controls or our standards. And so in order to make sure that the machine is calibrated right, we're going to go ahead and actually calibrate the machine. And then we're going to do our own pH and our solution. So in order to do that, I'm going to first take our electrode out. So ready? So we're gonna go with pH one. We'll leave that in there for a little while. Now the machine should tell us something. It says 4.50. So we know that's not right. So this lets us know that it's calibrated and it's pure. So we say yes. And now we're doing our last one. 
which is our 10. As you can see, our machine is going on its way to 10. Okay, so what I'm doing is we're bringing it back down. So as I said, it was between eight and eight and a half, I mean eight and nine, which is eight point six two, which is too basic, so we're gonna have to add some citric acid, some lemon, in order to bring our peaks down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually do that right now and I'll show you on just a minute. So we're gonna add a, a few drops of citric acid. Let our stir and ride go ahead and stir it up. Give a little extra stir. Now we're going to go ahead and see what our shampoo is doing. Alright, let's see how that brought us down. Holy crap. I think I did it. First one off. Because our shampoo should be between 5.5 and 6.2. And right there, people, you see I got it. 5.55. I am good. <laughs> All I need is it to say ready. Yes. Did it.